Even though, um, been a while, been a bit nippy and been a bit busy. Um, living in Scotland, the last few days have not been fun. We've had minus 10, uh, so the scoot's been hiding for a wee week or so. Um, what I thought I'd do is I was coming out to give it a good once over before I go back to working on Monday. Uh, I thought I'd get the thermos cud review done so you guys can see whether my opinions on the thing, you know, take it for there. Uh, what we've got in, this is the thermal scud that was fitted, <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second, uh, to my PCX125 and I've got to say I've still quite a little bit ambiguous about it. I've been using it for about six to eight weeks in pretty much all weathers and it's definitely got good points and drawbacks uh, which I'm going to go through, hopefully this will help people maybe kind of make their mind up about something. Um, so I've got my list, I've been writing stuff down as I went along so I don't cock it up and the first thing I want to say is man it's great for wind chill it really 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 soaks up the wind chill off your legs um, this furry fandango there is really warm just get the ultimate out of it um, it really does do great at keeping the, the wind chill off your legs I go to work normally wearing dickies work trousers um and I am and I know I shouldn't before MD starts. I'm still going to work just wearing regular dickies work trousers under this. They're no especially thick or anything like that, you know. And I'm fine, don't get me wrong, it's cold, but I'm comfortable enough for my six mile commute. I don't really do much. You're not gonna do a lot of high speed in, no one of these admittedly, as we've already proven. Um I've only got like a mile of dual carriage way to do, but it's been pretty good for that so far so it has definitely been warm it's definitely extended the rising season for me um, from that point of view uh, it's keeping the worst of the weather off you as well I've got issues with air gaps here and here but that's because it's moved a little and it's settled a little and I've repositioned stuff so I'm going to take these foam bits which are feckin' useless going to take them off anyway, try repositioning them. My understanding is they're meant to fill some of these gaps in here. To number one, stop it rubbing in your body work, and number two, to kind of stop a bit of airflow. You do get a bit of draft through it, but it's not unreal. It does keep the majority of the weather off you, so um, you do, don't get me wrong, it's, the thing itself is 100% waterproof, but obviously there's gaps, so you get a wee bit of spray. You get a little bit of spray in the back of your calves, I've found. So coming in kind of through there, so that's the Optimate cable going to the bandit. Um, you're getting a little bit of spray in there. I've no clue what this window thing's for. I don't know. Never used it. Maybe I should have. It didn't say in the instructions about it either. Um, but you do get a little bit of spray, like I say, but it's it's brilliant. It definitely keeps the worst of it off you. And it rolls up fairly easily um, when you're not using it, as you'll see. Just a wee sec, I'll place you there. Should be able to see. You just roll up, roll up, roll up. Then these wee bits come off. Pop in through, I think this is how it's meant to be done. Somebody who's had these for years or, you know, knows what they're doing might do it differently, but I put them through these wee red loops here, as I'll show you in a sec. And then you come back and you kind of stud it there. And even when it's rolled up, what I've found, is it still quite an effective wind block because it's still blocking, you know, you're still getting a bit of extra leg coverage here that you maybe wouldn't have had well you definitely wouldn't have had otherwise although I do find that one side seems to roll up a little bit better than the other but yeah, you got that anyway, so it rolls up um, gain you plenty of room and it, it does, you know, your legs are still in here so you're still getting the worst of the weather off you uh, even if it's just a bit chilly, because it, you know, it can be a little bit, it can feel constraining, and it's not, it can just feel it. Um, the built-in seat cover is brilliant, so it's, I should have thought of this really, unroll it all again, so the seat cover. Built-in seat cover, lives in the wee pouchy bit, pops over, and even in the stormiest of days, that's not moved when I've come out to it. It's been there, seat's been dry, everything's still been in place. I was worried it was going to blow away or something like that, you know, but, well, no blow away, but just blow off. Uh, and your seat was going to get soaked. And it is very secure on the bike. At no point have I felt this is going to come off. It's never felt loose. It's never felt 
you know, in, in any way they could, it was going to get in my way or it was going to be a danger or anything like that at all. It's very, very secure. Um, you know it's not going anywhere when you're riding it. The external material, this stuff is as thick as get out, man. It's really, really thick. It's solid. I don't think any water's ever going to get through that. It's really, really, really good. And the fittings and everything, the quality of it overall feels good quality. It feels, it's been thought out. Maybe not 100% brilliantly, I've got a few bits I'll show you, but um, it's definitely, definitely, a, you know, you can tell that a lot of money's going into the design and you can tell it's not been produced on the cheap. It's well made. I'd probably put it up there with a similar feeling of quality to Krieger stuff, if you've ever used any Krieger gear. Uh, backpacks or tailpacks, it's kind of similar feeling to that, it just feels like it'll just last forever, feels like it'll outlast the bike to be fair. Now, one last wee thing about it, is when you're on the bike, and you tuck up your seat cover and you do your wee pouch there. Now the first couple of times I went on it, it doesn't say anything about this in the instructions, and and obviously being a man I didn't really read them anyway, but that's not the point, is this bit. So you've got this strap, oh, that I apparently can't do. Not very good with my left hand. She came me play the guitar, it's atrocious. Um, clips in there like that. Now this actually goes on your neck. And it holds it there. So you're even getting a little bit of protection, you know, kind of up to top of your tummy kind of thing. So it's kind of good that way. Um, although, we'll go into some of the things I'm no so keen on on it now. So, the fitting instructions are absolutely shit. End of story. There's, there's no recovering them, man. They're brutal, they're terrible. They don't make sense, it's just trial and error. Uh, the online ones are a little bit better, but the bit of paper you get with it's a waste of a bit of paper. Total waste of time. Um, it does nothing, it doesn't help you to fit it in any way, shape or form. Straps! Straps fucking everywhere. Um, extra bits of strappage everywhere. Now I would have thought for a model, and this one is specific to the PCX, I would have thought the straps would have just been the right length. Do you know what I mean? Um, but you've got it. I mean, obviously, I know it's a production issue. It's cheaper to do it that way rather than tooling up fresh stuff. But some of the straps seem long, so like these red ones here seem a little bit too long. These go in through one of the plastic rivets, and then these blue ones you get all this flapping about. The one underneath get a big bit flapping about. Now they're rock solid; they're not going anywhere. But it just, I, th I didn't think it would have been like that. That seems more universal fit stuff than anything else. Um. The air tubes seem to softly lose a little bit of pressure over time. So every kind of fortnight or so, just a wee puff of air in there just to keep them puffed up and keep them solid. Um, I don't know if that's because of me, you know, rolling it up or not, uh, what not, who knows. Um, the actual fittings like this, like I say, doesn't tell you where to put them in the instructions, so... I put them where I thought it was going to go and then I had to readjust it and refit the thing and they're stuck there a mile, miles out of anywhere, but I'll fix that anyway. Um, in the very heavy rain, now I'm talking about the kind of rain that, to be honest, you shouldn't be out in if you can't avoid it, possibly. What happens is when this bit's holding your chest up, you can probably kind of guess where I'm going with this. All the water for your helmet and for the top that's hitting the top of your body, your upper torso, runs down the inside of this, right into your crotch. So you are going to get off like any motorcycle commuting in the rain with a majority of textile gear. You're going to get off looking like you've peed yourself. There's just no way about it. Um, it is the nature of the beast unless you want to wear waterproof trousers under it. So it is. I think Takano Urbano actually sell a, like a jacket that's got a chest flap that flaps over the top of this. Flaps down over that so it stops that from happening. Um, but shockingly enough they don't do one of my size. Um, so yeah, that's that. It's, uh, the neck strap thing kind of freaks me out a little bit as well. I have no doubt it's been safety tested. But there's still a wee bit in the back of my mind, man. And, and the way that, they, uh, that they're saying this works is this little bit is basically Velcro. So in the event of any pressure, this is going to tear and come loose. And it's not going to hold you on the bike. But I can imagine you getting a wee bit of a sear neck off that if you have a bad off with it. And the final bugbear, which is a very small one. And I, I'm not 100% sure if I can really blame it on this. Slightly poorer on fuel economy. Now that might be because it's colder weather. And most things are a bit shitter in fuel economy in the colder weather. But who knows. Um, yeah, that's it. 
other than that, love the thing. Can't wait to get it off for the summer though, it's ugly as sin. Uh, and you're just surrendering your dignity at the door, do you know what I mean? There's just nothing, there's nothing else for it, man. Um, but once everybody at your work gets over the initial kind of peeing their cell laughing at you, you, you'll start to enjoy it, and you'll definitely be feeling the benefit when you shoot past them in traffic, and you're toasty warm. Um, but yeah, that's it. I would buy another one. I would buy one again. I think they probably, on a traditional Italian scooter, like a Vespa or something, I think they fit a lot better. You know, because they've been making them for so much longer. So next time I get a Vespa, I'll get one and we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, would recommend. Worth the buy if you're a commuter. Definitely extends the life of it. Uh, absolutely, 100%. Cheers, lads. See you later.